What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad and I'm back with another video. And as you can tell from the title of the video, what we're gonna be talking about here is how to auscultate heart sounds, okay? For a lot of you out there, this may be something that comes across as kind of simple, but that's the point of it. It is for, you know, this video is geared towards those of you out there who are beginners and just getting into whatever facet of the medical profession you're getting into. Now, I know I'm not the best artist in the world, but just to give you an overview of what we got going on here, okay, this white part, I left it white so that you can distinguish the sternum from, you know, the actual ribs and things like that. So we have the sternum, we have all of the ribs, we have the clavicles, so on and so forth, basic anatomy. And of course, what do you guys think that big red thing is? All right, now that we got that covered, <laughs> Let's talk about the actual stethoscope, okay? Again, I'm keeping this real simple and basic for you guys, all right? Here you have a stethoscope, okay? This is what it looks like. This one is uh, happens to be from Littman. You have your two little ear pieces. You have, of course, the actual tubing. And then here, the chest piece that you're really concerned with, you have the bell and then the diaphragm. Now, the diaphragm is what we need to use in order to auscultate patients' heart sounds. So yeah, uh, another little simple tidbit of information for those of you who are beginning because we all started somewhere and we all had to learn this. Let's say the tip of my finger is the point of my nose. This is how you put the ear pieces in your ear. If this is the tip of my finger is the tip of my nose, you do not put your earbuds in your ears like that. That's wrong. That's right. Got it. Okay, so the way that we assess heart sounds, I'm a nursing student. I'm in nursing school, as you could tell from the title of my channel, for those of you who have not been rocking with me here. And by the way, I suggest you subscribe. Here's how we're taught, okay? You've all heard, if you're in nursing school, the APETM, right? Aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, and mitral. That's the way in which we assess the heart sounds of these patients, okay? And there are different landmarks associated with these various points. So here's how you need to go about auscultating your heart sounds. Now, also, let me mention, whenever we talk about aortic or pulmonic or mitral, it's important to know that the place in which you're actually placing your stethoscope to auscultate these valves, this is not the actual location of the valve. It is just merely the point at which the reverberation of the noises that these valves are giving off can actually be heard and auscultated. Just wanted to let you know that it's not actually the location, the anatomical location of the valve. Anyway, so for the first point that you listen to for any assessment, nursing assessment, cardiac assessment, the aortic, okay? You are talking about the right sternal border, because remember, if you're looking at a patient, this is the patient's right side, that's the patient's left side. Right sternal border, second intercostal space. Intercostal simply being the space in between the ribs. One, two. Second intercostal space, right sternal border. So you're really looking at right there. Okay? Right there. That is the aortic. That is where you first start. Now, moving on to pulmonic, the P. That is simply right across. It is the left sternal border, second intercostal space. So you go from here over to here. Next point, herbs, the E. It is the left sternal border, third intercostal space. So you go from here and you simply go down one intercostal space to get herbs point. The next part is the tricuspid valve. All that you do is the left sternal border, fourth intercostal space. So you simply go from herbs point and you go down again, left sternal border, fourth intercostal space. You got it? The final one, this is the one that most people know, is the mitral valve and it's also the place where you listen for the apical pulse because it is at the apex of the heart. And again, this drawing is sort of rough, but you can think of it whenever you think about actual patients as being mid clavicular line, the mid point of the clavicle, fifth intercostal space. So let's think about mid clavicular line, one, two, 
three, four, five. And it should be right over the apex of the heart. And that is where you will listen for your apical pulse for a full 60 seconds for my fellow nursing students out there. Okay, so one more time, let's just go through it again. Real quick, okay? Aortic, right sternal border, second intercostal space. Pulmonic, left sternal border, second intercostal space. Herbs, left sternal border, third intercostal space. Tricuspid, fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. And then for your tricuspid, or sorry, for your, your mitral, it is midclavicular line, fifth intercostal space. I really hope this video helps simplify things. For those of you learning how to auscultate heart sounds, this is a great diagram, man. Take a, take a screenshot of this, whatever you got to do, keep this in your mind and just that's just your simply, that's simply the most simple way to remember, okay? Aortic, go over. Pulmonic, go down. Herbs, go down. Tricuspid, and then for mitral, you already know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm putting out videos every week, whether it be motivational, whether it be educational, things of that nature. You can find it all here on my channel, Nurse Bass. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to share it with a friend, somebody else who is in nursing school or in med school or whatever you're trying to do in the healthcare world. I hope much success your way and it's nurse best soon to be. Peace.